Hello all, welcome to Tech Assembler. And in this tutorial, we will be going to discuss about modules and component in Ionic. So let's begin. So, uh, what are modules? Modules is just a big container in that you can have multiple components. Okay, and what are components? Components are just a small, small chunks of HTML and some logic codes binded together. Okay, so that we can reuse it whenever it is necessary for example you can see uh, thus we have one application page okay an application we have one home page and the other is the secondary page hope you can see uh, sorry i could use different color okay i like red so you can see this one page is home page and the other page is secondary page in home page we want to show the profile image of the user who have logged in and his detail and has some course which he is interested and many more things so we need to write some html and some logic code and some styling so that it could look like this and in other another page we have secondary page where we can uh, where user can edit his informations like he can change the profile image or he can edit his uh, detail so uh, then he then what we can do we could write the html code what we have used over home page the same html code so what this result in the redundancy of the html and the logic so we could use these same logic over the different places by making it a component okay so we have one component container and that we can make different different components like one we can make with the profile image and here we just we need to write some code about the profile images how these images could display and the other is we can make this also a component because we are using it more than one places so the html code uh, become redundant we can reduce this redundancy by making it into a component so we just make a component container and in that container we make the list of components what are being reused throughout our application so whenever it is necessary like in second page we use the same thing like profile images and the other is the detail of the user so we what we can do we just directly use it from the component list okay we don't have to write this code uh, another time or uh, the same logic in different style so we what we can do we just take the component list okay so this is how and some more theory about this is that a component uh, can be used in multiple places and each component use other component okay which are declared in the same module to use component uh, declared declared in other module they need to be exported from that module and that the module needs to be imported into a module where we need that functionality okay i know this is a little bit complicated what we what i just tell you so basically we'll see the demo uh, in which we create a different component and a module so how can we reuse that module okay and one more thing that you must underline this thing that a module can have multiple components okay but a component can have one module so uh, like a little example uh, what i can say like a pa parent child relationship one parent can have multiple childs and one child can have only one parent associated to them so this so let's begin a coding 